Though sent in contemporary India, the thoughts, feelings, and issues are universal truths that are reflected in today's Black Lives Matter. The COVID-19 epidemic has also pointed out the disparity and injustice in the world. How do you persist when you live in a society that does not recognize you while you have vast hopes and dreams for your future? How do you persist when you have an oppressive society that does not acknowledge who you are, so you battle to rise above your circumstances? These ruminations are interwoven in this book as reflected in three characters who each have a distinct voice. Jivan, a Muslim girl, living in a Kolkata slum, is accused of a terrorist crime she did not commit, but was convicted and sentenced to jail. Where was the evidence and was she sentenced because of her poor underprivileged status, or was it religious circumstances observed in the religious struggles between the Hindus and Muslims? P.T. Sir is a teacher desirous of power and becomes attached to a right-wing party and advances while compromising his values. Finally there is Lovely, a delightful hijra who though not book smart, lives with determination, wanting passionately to become a famous actress. They all know Jivan and their connection to her becomes an important strand. One of the threads that ties these characters together is their grit, inventiveness, and intelligence, something I have observed in my few times in India. This is a wondrous novel that highlights gender differences, class struggles, and the corruption of a system. Does anyone recognize this? Another do not miss book. Recognize